the Battle of Spurtius took place in 997 AD, on the shores of the Spurtius River near the city of Lamia in central Greece. It was fought between a Bulgarian army led by Tsar Samuel, that in the previous year had penetrated south into Greece, and the Byzantine army under the command of General Nikephorus Auranos. The Byzantine victory virtually destroyed the Bulgarian army and stopped its raids in the southern Balkans and Greece. The major historical source on the battle comes from Greek historian John Skylitzes, whose synopsis of histories contains a biography of the then reigning Byzantine emperor, Basil II. Origins of the conflict after the success of the Bulgarians in the Battle of the Gates of Trajan in 986, Byzantium descended into a civil war. Further exacerbated by the conflict with the Fatimids in Syria, Tsar Samuil took advantage of the situation. He managed to seize many castles in the surroundings of Byzantium's second largest city, Thessalonica. In 991 the Byzantines managed to capture Roman of Bulgaria but this did not stop Samuel who was now de facto the only emperor of Bulgaria. In 996 Samuel defeated the forces of the Strategos of Thessalonica and marched to the south, eventually threatening Larissa and Corinth. The battle. On his way back he met a Byzantine army on the opposite side of the Spurtius River, led by the domestic of the West, Nikephorus Auranos. Basil II had appointed Auranos commander of all Balkan and Greek territories of the Byzantine Empire and gave him a large army to defeat the Bulgarians. He followed the Bulgarian army and confronted it after the Bulgarians went through the Thermopylae Pass on the river of Spurtius. Due to heavy rainfalls, the river had swollen and flooded a large area on both shores. The Bulgarians camped on the southern shore and the Byzantines on the northern, separated from each other by the river. The two armies remained thus encamped for several days. Samuel was confident that the Byzantines could not cross and neglected taking measures to protect his camp. Auranos, however, sought and found a fort, leading his army across during the night and attacking the Bulgarians at dawn. The Bulgarians were not able to put up effective resistance, and the larger part of their army was destroyed and captured. Samuel himself was wounded and he and his son Gavril Radomir evaded capture by feigning death among the bodies of their slain soldiers while around 12,000 of their men were said to be captured. After nightfall they set off to Bulgaria and in the Pindus Mountains gathered what was left of their army. Due to the difficult 400 km journey to Okrid his arm healed at an angle of 140 degrees. According to Yahya of Antioch, Nikephorus Auranos returned to Constantinople with 1,000 heads of Bulgarian soldiers and 12,000 captives. Aftermath The battle was a major defeat of the Bulgarian army. At first Samuel showed readiness for negotiations but upon the news of the death of Bulgaria's official ruler Roman in prison. He proclaimed himself as sole legitimate Tsar and continued the war. Although Samuel initially managed to recover the Byzantines decisively took the lead in the war. In 1014 they decisively defeated the Bulgarians and conquered the country. According to Skylitzes, the victory was entirely Auranos' achievement and Basil II is credited with little besides appointing him to the office of Domesticos.